we will show you how to count human pluripotent stem cell aggregates to determine and adjust plating densities for maintenance and differentiation. Draw a plus sign centered on the bottom of three wells of a 96 well flat bottom plate to serve as a counting grid. Aliquote 40 microliters of DMEM F12 medium into each well. Next, add 5 microliters of freshly resuspended cell aggregate mixture to each well. Count the aggregates in each well that are greater than or equal to 50 micrometers in diameter. An eyepiece micrometer can help identify cell aggregates of this size. In this example, which represents one quarter of a well as defined by the grid, we have 19 aggregates over 50 micrometers in diameter. Average the results from the three wells to obtain the average number of cell aggregates in the five microliter sample. Here, we will assume an average of 80 aggregates per well. Aggregate diameters ranging from 100 to 200 micrometers are ideal for use with the stem diff hematopoietic kit. However, count any aggregate greater than or equal to 50 micrometers in diameter since these are also likely to grow into colonies. Calculate the concentration of cell aggregates and the total number of cell aggregates in the mixture using the total volume of aggregate suspension. In our example, the concentration is 16 aggregates per microliter, and the total volume is 1,000 microliters, which brings the total number of cell aggregates to 16,000. Now, determine the target number of aggregates to plate. Ensure that the total target number of cell aggregates to plate for all conditions in your experiment does not exceed the total number of cell aggregates. For our example, we assume we want to plate 80 aggregates per well with 12 conditions. This requires 960 aggregates, which is less than 16,000, so we have enough aggregates. Calculate the volume of cell aggregate mixture to plate for each condition in your experiment by dividing the target number of aggregates to plate by the concentration of aggregates. In our example, we have to plate 5 microliters per well. Gently mix the cell aggregate mixture by tapping the tube prior to plating to ensure a uniform suspension. Add the calculated volume of cell aggregate mixture to pre-coated wells containing mTeaser 1, mTeaser Plus, or Teaser E8. For the stem diff hematopoietic kit, a plating density of 40 to 80 aggregates per well of a 12-well plate is recommended. However, multiple plating densities may need to be tested to achieve the correct colony density. Place the plate in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator. Now, move the plate in several quick, short, back and forth, side to side motions to distribute the cell aggregates. Leave it undisturbed for 24 hours. For more information about HPSC aggregate passaging or the stem diff hematopoietic kit, please visit www.stemcell.com.